We really have not had a comprehensive approach uh, to infrastructure. Uh, the Congress passed a two-year bill, which uh, goes out of existence at the end of September this year. The Highway Trust Fund is broke uh, at the end of the summer. Uh, so that gives no certainty, no vision, uh, no opportunity for contractors, for governors, for states to really plan for the future. We've really let the American people down on this. Uh, we've let them down uh, because uh, after this very brutal winter, everybody knows that America is one big pothole and they're not being filled and the roads aren't being rebuilt and bridges are falling down and uh, we, we've always done better in America. There's not enough money in the private sector, there's not enough money in the states and, and local governments alone, and there's not enough money in the federal government to do it by itself. What we really need to do, and what BAF has urged President Obama to do, is to convene a, a, a task force to look at developing a 10-year long-term infrastructure revitalization program, and that that task force should include state DOT directors, it should include former secretaries like Secretary LaHood. It should include private sector people, road builders, hedge funds, people like that. And it should include some academics. And if I, we've asked President Obama to task them in a relatively short time period, three to six months, with coming back with a comprehensive plan for funding a infrastructure revitalization program, how to fund it, how to operate it. Because the public wants to know not only that we're investing in, in, in infrastructure, but that we're spending the money wisely. And so the plan should have how to fund it and how to run it free from political interference targeting the things that are most important. What the people in D.C. need to do is take uh, really uh, their leadership uh, from around the country where you have governors that uh, go out to the people and put referendums on the ballot. Uh, they raise the gas tax. They raise the revenue uh, to try and uh, really keep up with the infrastructure in their own states. We need people in Washington uh, that are willing to go there and get things done. And uh, a big part of getting things done is to get America back to being number one in infrastructure. If we do that, we put a lot of people to work if, we pa if the Congress were to pass a multi-year, a six-year transportation bill, thousands of people would go to work building the infrastructure, thousands of jobs would be created by the businesses that will be located near the infrastructure, whether it's a train line, a light rail, a road, a bridge. We know that businesses like to locate along uh, this kind of infrastructure. This, this would be a win-win for America. It would put a lot of people to work and it would get America back to being number one in what we've always been uh, is our infrastructure. Frankly, no, no, I'm not optimistic. I think we're likely to see just a kick the can down the road, just a patchwork, you know, take a few dollars from the general fund uh, and patch up the highway trust fund for another four months or six months. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, we're going to do more than that. But I do know that at some time, Congress has to come to grips with this problem. At every point in our history when we needed to do something big, when we needed to do something bold, we Americans have always had the willingness to take that uh, road. And if we don't do it again, I think we're in real big trouble as a country. So I think at some period, will it be after the, in the lame duck session? Will it be in 2015? Will it be after there's a new president? Sometime in the next two, two and a half years, we're going to have to confront this and we're going to have to do something really significant and long term.